But let's continue about the story of the hero who killed the very first chimera and gained himself a marriage as a result. Like I said, he was chosen by the king, he did his duty, and he got one of his daughters as a wife. Yes, the monster Chimera died at the hands of Bellerophon, but his fame survived for, this, for centuries. For many centuries, people have been telling stories to each other about fabulous creatures that carry the essences of different animals in their bodies. However, despite all the power of these mythological figures, none of them could survive the ruthless hammer of science, Sergei added. When it was discovered that each animal was a huge group of cells with one common mother embryo, the chimeras were sent to the place they should never left. They should never have left. Fantasy land. All higher animals like us are born the same way. Special cells secreted by the male and the egg secreted by the female merged into one cell. Then this mother cell divides again and again until it gives birth to billions of daughter cells that, except for transcription errors, have the same genetic information. That's why only a lion can be born from a lion embryo. If the embryo is from a goat, then all daughter cells will be from a goat. And the same thing happens to any creature. How then could such a monster as a chimera, a mixture of a goat, a lion, and a snake, arise from one cell? If it existed, the chimera would have to come from three different cells. One lion cell, another goat, and another snake which is extremely unlikely. So, Sergei wants to look at the resurrection of chimeras. When the existence of a chimera seemed completely impossible, an interesting laboratory experiment, as if in mockery, revived the idea. In 1984, the scientific journal Nature announced the birth of a creature that was a mixture of a goat and a sheep. The animal turned out to be not the product of crossing one species with another, but the result of a laboratory experiment. The scientific recipe for its manufacture was as follows. The authors of the article took two different embryos, one from a sheep, the other from a goat. They allowed them to evolve into a small set of cells and then took a few cells from a goat embryo and placed them in a sheep embryo. So they got one embryo that contained two different types of cells, some with goat genetic information and others with sheep. The result was an animal with a sheep muzzle, goat horns and skin, some parts of which were covered with sheep's wool, and others with long dark hair from the mother goat. The strange story of a man with two blood groups follows this. A case of human chimerism was discovered during a blood test of a person who needed a transfusion. Before the procedure, doctors should definitely find out the patient's blood type in order to find a donor of the same group. The doctors were very surprised when they discovered that the patient had two different blood groups. His blood looked like a mixture of the blood of two different people. The reason was later discovered. The patient had a twin brother, and during pregnancy, he shared with him the blood that came through the placenta. And although both brothers developed normally, at some point in their development, they exchanged some blood stem cells living in the bone marrow. Those, these foreign cells not only survived, but also settled comfortably in a new body and formed their own blood cells. This is how a man with chimeric blood appeared, which, by the way, is not a unique case, since it has been proven that at least 8% of non-identical twin brothers are chimeras by blood. To this are added cases when during pregnancy with twins, a miscarriage occurs in the early stages of pregnancy, 
As a result, one child may be born preserving part of the cells of his deceased sibling. This is, in fact, that is, in fact, there may be much more chimeras, or many more, than we know in reality. And then, the case of a chimera without a father. In 1995, another curious case of chimerism was described in scientific journals. A group of researchers from the University of Leeds in the UK found a child who had cells in his blood and other tissues that did not carry any chromosomes from his father. Instead, they contained duplicated maternal chromosomes. There are creatures in nature, especially insects, that can create a full-fledged creature from a female egg without the need for fertilization. This phenomenon is called parthenogenesis. However, this system does not work for higher beings. But it was absolutely clear that in the child studies at the University of Leeds, some cells were obtained by parthenogenesis. One of the co-authors of the article, an Englishman by the name of Bontron, suggested that there was some kind of malfunction in the egg, which spontaneously split into two. After that, one of the formed cells was fertilized and the other not fertilized, simply copied it. And subsequently, these cells made up one embryo. Have you ever met a chimera in your life? Sergei asks. And I ask, uh, why is all this attention to this subject? Who knows what's going on in the spheres where we have no access to and uh, whether chimeras are something that some countries are interested in creating? Who knows? But we'll keep an eye. So this is what I wanted to let you know today. And if you like my research, please kindly um, subscribe to my videos and I'll bring you more stories of my own research and uh, research like people like Sergey, very curious personality, very interesting. And uh, please like my videos and tell others about my channel. Thank you very much for your attention to my work.